Hi, my name is Karthik and you are watching my Poddar Kicketricks and Technology. Okay, this demonstration I will show you how to you know create your first application in Android and how to set up your you know emulator and this is an emulator. Okay, and uh, after that I will show you you know first application output also. So also you can see over here you know like this you know all these things and also you can see yeah this is i will you know show you how i will create you know my first application with the jamrin okay so let's get started today i will i will discuss mobile app with jamrin c sharp okay so also we will create a mobile app with the android or ios okay so what is jamrin you know Xamarin is a cross platform open source and app platform for building android and ios app with dotnet and c sharp okay so so my next question is so everybody you know think about you know what is Xamarin so Xamarin is nothing Xamarin actually uh, give it, given the platform where we can uh, you know develop a mobile application as well as iOS as well as you know window app like, you know uh, like you know like watch os mac os like this okay so dot net is a developer platform made up of tools programming language okay and libraries for building many different types of applications so xamarin extends the dot net developer platform with tools and libraries specifically for building app for android ios TV OS, Watch OS, Mac OS, and Windows. Okay, so how to set up or create first mobile app? So we have to understand and we have to know how to set up your first application. So today I will, you know, I will uh, show you how to set up one by one, and everything I will clear whenever. I know uh, comes every points so I will clear one by one okay so let's start for Visual Studio so first uh, you know we have to install you know for the Jamrin so how to install Jamrin so so you can see Visual Studio 2009 installation for free lifetime actually you can go my you can visit my uh, YouTube uh, YouTube channel like Poddar KK channel and you can watch this you know session I have show you I, I had show you uh, how to install Visual Studio 2019 you know also how to uh, you know add your Jamrin uh, you know template for that uh, Visual Studio 2019 if any case you are not watching this uh, if already you have installed so how you can add or how you can modify you know Jamlin template so that's I will show you right now okay so let's get up things now I I, I open my Visual Studio 2019 because I have installed in my machine 2019 okay so before proceeding you know before creating you know mobile app so I especially recommend first you have to check your Visual Studio have a template for the Jamrin so how we can do that so first open your Chrome you know Chrome or any browser do we have in your PC so first you know Visual Studio 2019 write the Visual Studio studio 2019 okay let's click on this visual studio 2019 microsoft site and uh, i have installed in, in my pc in professional 2019 of visual studio so first i have to download because if you have that exe so don't download again but if you do if don't have so please download first so that we can check uh, in, in our visual studio ha, you know contain you know like our template or jamlin template or not so uh, just a few seconds okay just download it okay okay 
yeah this is my you know visual studio professional so i'm just double click on this exe file or application file just open it okay continue okay I think it'll, it will it will take some time because you know some downloading process okay so uh, uh, need to wait some time uh, for a minute okay after downloading that screen will appear okay so if any upgrade upgrade upgradation in visual studio so that time this update available screen will appear okay so you have to cancel because we don't want to update right now we have to actually you know uh, install our and uh, jamrin template so just cancel it and uh, just you know uh, click on this more option and modify and we have to check you know you know click on this workloads you know why devolves will come in workload so you know you can see over how many you know workloads have you checked okay so I have checked with this you know cross platform node.js you know in this but our main goal is you know mobile development with the dot net this is a you uh, Xamarin template or you know what you can say workload or you know framework you can say like this okay so make sure if you checked so leave it if you not checked so please check it and install it okay so I've already installed so I'm not going to do again so just I will close it okay I also close it okay now I will create a new project okay now I will search here Xamarin Xamarin okay now you can see over three actually here is a three uh, template of mobile apps okay so it is a mobile apps first of mobile apps second which is Android app of third one is iOS okay if you want create in separate Android without iOS application okay so you can click you can choose this template and if you want only iOS application not Android so you can use this template on if you want both like Android and iOS you know in a one application so you can choose this application so I recommend please use this one and I will name as it uh, like my first demo mobile app okay and solution name would be demo mobile app okay just create it it will take time because you know everything will create and restore all the packages so just a second it will creating okay now you can see it will come you know a window that have you know some templates like you know master details tab shell and blank blank okay so I will show you demo with from the scratch so I will choose blank template okay also you know it's uh, also I will discuss in later my upcoming video in master detail with the master detail template okay you know it's have you know you can see also you can use a, a ASP.NET core web API project also okay so now currently I will uh, choose blank template with you know two platform Android and iOS just okay okay now you can see project has been created and click on the solution explorer and you can over you can see over three you know three uh, project 
a library like you know first is a project library second is an you know, android application third one is a ios application Be because i have choose while creating the mobile app uh, i have you know checked you know two uh, two template you know two platform android and ios that's why it's coming that's why it's came you know two platform okay so just collapse everything i will describe how create the project architecture of this mobile app okay so this is a you know you know library okay it is a project library actually everything we will implement in this project library all the your pages your you know logics everything's would be here okay and this is a shareable library project library which will be inherit you know automatically for this android platform as well as ios platform okay so main uh, so uh, what what does does it mean actually everything will be implement here so automatic will reflect for your android as well as ios okay so uh, first uh, we will describe of this you know my first uh, you know uh, project library you know in this application mobile application it is in our dependencies you know folder like you know all the your nuget is depend dependencies which is you know required for this you know mobile application or uh, in the nuget packages and also is the sdk you know any sdk required for this so it's automatically will contain okay now now i will come for the app.xml so what is that example app.xml actually it is a startup file of this mobile application or this application you can say okay actually it's a you know, xml file as well as a you know dot cs file okay so xml file is nothing it have you know just like you know your uh, something like you know resources or you know Oh, and and layout or oh, no and later on i will you know implement in this uh, app.xml then i will discuss more in in this in 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 great details but right now i will tell you in the cs file actually this is a starting file of this application okay so whenever your your application will run you know first will come here and initialize components and check your starting page you know you can set here your starting page of this application so what is my uh, by default starting page is main you know main page so where is our main page so you can write you can see in our application here here you can see here is a main page and here is a set only you know as a label as a label so where i have writing something for you know welcome to Jimbrain form this is my okay I'm just zooming it okay welcome to Jimbrain form this my this is my first mobile app demo okay by the Podar KK tricks okay just you know why the podar kk tricks and tech technology okay and also i will you know set you know it is a very you know you know very small font so that's why i will increase the font so font size size would be 30 okay okay so you know this is on a very simple architecture on this you know uh, this mobile app also i will describe you know android app actually it's have same things like properties folder you know some you know manifest file or assembly files in this property also some references like you know your shared assembly reference also here and uh, you know some references like which is dependent on this application of android application so you know you can see you know jamrin all all, all these things of things 
okay so leave it and also you can see assets assets are nothing but you can you know put down your all of things like you know text file or um, whatever you, you want in, in in the assets files and also you can say resources actually resources what actually if you want you know some images or uh, etc or your layouts and values everything so you can put your resources folder so later on don't worry if it's not clear anything so one by one is the best in my upcoming video i will you know show you and i will implement everything and the, that time i will uh, you know describe everything as well okay also it's have you know main activity of this you know android platform you know main activities also in you know, a creating all these things you know like you know your layout and platforms and you know you know loading app you know he, he, you can see here is a loading app application you know first time when the, your uh, platform uh, you know startup so that time you know load the application okay so nothing is more okay so i think very simple you know architecture architecture and uh, very simple simple independency or everything's okay so and one more thing is left you know ios same things for this here but ios you know something and a different file and folders so i will talk to, uh, in a later upcoming video session because uh, currently i am i will focus on my you know android app so i will later on i will discuss on this okay so so meanwhile uh, how to you know how to see our output okay so before uh, going to this you know we have to install you know emulator android emulator so how you how how you can install android emulator so you have to you know click on this create android emulator because without emulator install in your pc you can't debug or you can't you know see the output how create you know how's your application is work and running and with the, you can't test also okay so we have to install an emulator so you know it is a diff you know by default property and by default checked you know you know you know default you know which is required for this emulator so i nothing will do change for this because i will take you know default setting so you are, i also recommend to you please please you know please don't change anything because later on if anything we have to change so i will tell you okay so create on this okay now okay uh, it will uh, installed okay and it will take some time but i i think i have installed in previous so that's why you know it's it's you know it's have been you know very quick so just start to check your you know uh, emulator is working fine or not so now you can see uh, emulator emulator is coming and okay it's populating so need to wait some time for populating okay okay now you can see my emulator is working fine okay so uh you have to wait some time because it will take some time so please keep patience and you can see over here all this default functionality here like you know your photos maps you know gmails everything all the apps is by defaults okay so just uh, oh make sure uh, one thing uh, we we want to share with you if your emulator not coming uh, properly or something issue so you have to do some uh, do uh, two changes like you know first uh, you have to check your you know control panel okay programs programs features uh, not program features sorry window features okay you have to check your this one you know i'm just zooming it okay 
hyper b have to check your windows features into both both uh, you know both folder also you have to check the one more things this is a window hyper version platform okay just make sure two things have checked your window okay so i leave it okay one things and second things you have to install uh, your you know h a z h a exam okay so this software also we have to require install to re for open these things okay so how to install it I, I will mention in my you know video description this links don't worry about that okay okay and also you can check uh, you know also you can check you know Microsoft site we are you know this two configuration you know we have to you know uh, like you know need to configure in your PC so you know this this is a configuration settings okay so you can check your window which which window you have okay after that you can check like you know hyper v requirements and you know these two things we have to also you have to check you know like which Android is SDK tool do you have okay and if you not uh, these things so please check and you know do needful action for this okay and also you know excelender with the XA uh, HAJM okay so we have to install also this uh, you know these tools so I'm just open and uh, you can for window and Mac you know, two version for here so I will click for the window just we have to download okay it's downloading actually I think I have already download so yeah I have already downloaded and I have to just install okay this thing does not intel support it's being used the hyper because can not ensure there is installed in windows which are later documentation information okay maybe i think uh, i have already installed uh, in previous so that's why if you will install so definitely will install if if any error or anything so okay so now what i will do just rebuild it make sure your uh, application is so working fine or you know no error in your applications so just make sure okay it's running tick 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 i think this video will take some time because i am i am you know i am describing everything from the scratch so keep patience and uh, watch continue so that you you know every any any issue if you if you will face so definitely you can resolve by yourself if you can't so please mention in my comment section any issue boss type issue so i will help every time okay now you can see will succeed okay now we have to we have to click my device android you know for the running for the run application and uh, finally if no issue so okay it's appearing we have to wait some time because you know first time it's it will coming so that's why you know it will take time some time so wait some time okay it's loading that's great okay you have to wait because you know emulator will come first but you know your application it's still running okay so your application not you know uh, it's running now but emulator is running so it's first you know deploying in your device you know you can see over here it's still deploying 
okay now it's deploying and okay okay now you can see i i put the message in your you know main a main dot you know i will show you okay now i have put the message here you know this is my you know welcome to jamrin this is my first app and it's successfully running you can see over here so it is just simple you know um, this video session only for this you know how to set up and create and all these things and you know first application of android app how to start so only for this so uh, in my next uh, upcoming video session i will show you you know how to how to log in and register and also uh, list how to uh, create the list view as like you know whatsapp list you know this like of things so keep watching thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel